let's see how the arbitrage process will be carried out when the value of levered firm is more than the value of unlevered firm illustration 6 there are two companies n limited and m limited having same earnings before interest and taxes that is ebit of 20000 m limited is a levered company having a debt 1 lakh at the rate 7% rate of interest the cost of equity of n limited is 10 percentage and that of m limited is 11.5 percentage compute how the arbitrage process will be carried on so let's do the question here is the answer so the particulars m limited n limited we know that m limited is a levered firm and n limited is an unlevered firm we have to follow the same format in every question relating to this first let's write the ebit ebit of both the cases both the m limited and n limited is 20000 rupees now we need to subtract the interest what is the interest given in the question 7 percentage of 1 lakh that is 7000 rupees in the case of levered firm in case of unlevered firm it is nil then we have to find the earnings available to equity shareholders that is net income for that we need to subtract ebit and interest what we get 13000 here it is 20000 itself now they have given the cost of equity of m limited as 11.5 percent and n limited as 10 percentage then we can find the market value of equity by dividing earnings available to equity shareholders and the cost of equity so market value of equity is equal to ni divided by ke so we get 1,13,043 rupees and here it is 2 lakh rupees then market value of debt is already given in the question it is 1 lakh here there is nil so we can find the value of the firm by adding market value of equity and market value of debt we get 2,13,043 and here it is 2 lakh so we can see that the value of levered firm is 2,13,043 and value of unlevered firm is 2 lakh that is the value of levered firm is greater than unlevered firm in this question now let's see how the arbitrage process will be carried out arbitrage process let's suppose if we have 10 percentage shares in unlevered firm what is the value of our investment 10 percentage of market value of equity what is the market value of equity 1,13,043 so 10 percentage of 1,13,043 is 11,304 rupees what will be the return of our investment 10 percentage of earnings available to equity shareholders earnings available to equity shareholders is 13000 so we get the return as 1300 rupees so the value of our investment is 11304.3 and the return of our investment is 1300 rupees what is the alternate strategy we can provide we can sell our 10 percentage shares of levered firm and borrow 10 percentage in the levered firm and invest 10 percentage in the unlevered firm since the value of levered firm is higher we can sell our shares in the levered firm and then borrow some money and invest in the unlevered firm let's see how that will impact our profit see we sell our shares in the levered firm we have 10 percentage of the shares in levered firm that is 11,304.30 then we will borrow 10 percentage of levered firm's debt the levered firm's debt is 1 lakh and the 10 percentage of 1 lakh amounts to 10,000 rupees so what is the total resource or the money we have we need to add by what we get by selling our shares and what we borrow we get 21,304.30 that is the money we have now we need to invest 10 percentage in unlevered firm right so what is unlevered firm's value 2 lakh rupees so 10 percentage of 2 lakh is 20,000 then we need to find the surplus cash we have what is the surplus cash 21,304.30 minus 20,000. So we have a surplus of 1,304.3 rupees in our hand. Now let's see the return. 
income from the unlevered firm what is the income from the unlevered firm 10 percentage of earnings available to equity shareholders in the unlevered firm the earnings available to equity shareholders in unlevered firm is 20000 that is why here we find 10 percentage of 20000 that's our income or return that is 2000 now we have to provide for the loan right we have taken some loan so interest on loan is 7 percentage of 10000 that is 700 rupees so what is the return 1300 rupees will be our return in both the cases in when we have when we hold shares in unlevered firm and when we hold shares in levered firm the return remains the same the return of our investment when we have 10% shares in unlevered firm is 1300 and the return of our investment when we have shares in levered firm will be also 1300 rupees but what is the advantage we have an advantage of 1304.3 rupees as surplus in our hand that is the process of arbitrage works